We're continuing our celebration of black history this month here at CBS2. And tonight we look at the world of wine, which has very few black people represented at high levels. Some of the few are from right here in Chicago. CBS2's Adrena Bigas spoke to the trailblazers about breaking into the wine business and breaking barriers. <laughs> In a world of reds and whites, we're seeing more black and brown. To be in this moment, I see it, right? The changing faces in the world of wine. Then it's like, oh wait, how, how did they get here? They're, they're, they're new. Meet the men from Chicago's South Side, making up half of Michael Lavelle Wines. They haven't seen us before, so it's unusual to see us in this space, but also to be doing well in this space. The luxury wine label launched in 2020, now deemed the youngest black owned label around. But it doesn't stop there. They're pouring into others, with part of their wine proceeds going to fully fund an MBA in wine business and management for an HBCU graduate. They also partner with the Roots Fund to expose black and brown youth to the wine industry. Seeing something that they haven't seen before, done by someone that looks like them. And that is needed. Right now, less than 1% of the 8,000 winemakers, negociants, and brand owners in the U.S. are black. Gosh, not only being a, an African-American, but an African-American woman? Are you kidding me? There's only 60 of us. There's 60 of us out of 111,000 in the world that do this. African-American women. And now, Kershawn Lampley is nine years in the game as owner and negociant of Love Corkscrew. Being uh, the first African-American woman from the entire Midwest to ever go national with the wine brand, um, I, I just love showing people that they can do it. Aha moment. These twin sisters from Chicago did it too. Nichelle and Nicole Nichols own the Guilty Grape with wine from micro vineyards in California. Their success, like Krishan's, in a mostly white wine business is not without struggle. The no's that I receive, whether it's being kicked out of an account, whether it's not being accepted in certain restaurants. And the first reaction is, we don't talk to, you know, employees. And you're like, well, I'm the owner of this, you know, of this wine brand. But that won't happen here. At the Bronzeville Winery, opening next month on the city's south side. We are the first. There's nothing else like it in this area. Amy Janetin is managing director of the new wine venue in a neighborhood once called the Black Metropolis of Chicago. But we need to be represented across the board. You smell it, you taste it. The team here wants 60% black, minority, and women-owned items on their menu, which is being built by Derek C. Westbrook, head sommelier and wine consultant. Once you get diversity in the decision-making areas, then you start to see the wine list look a little more diverse. And now there's more of them to choose from, like Krishan's Love Corkscrew, with more than one million wine bottles sold. If I can make it in an industry that's less than 1% of me, you can do it. In the men of Michael Lavelle Wines, now sold in 10 states. To see that we have now new opportunities and new doors in new industries, that's life saving. We shot the interview with Michael Lavelle Wines at Foxtrot in the Gold Coast, which is one of the local retailers carrying their product. To buy Love Corkscrew, you can shop at select Whole Foods and Jewel Osco locations. And you can see more of our coverage on Chicago's Black Trailblazers by heading to CBSChicago.com slash Black History. It's what, so great to see. Yeah, what a happening scene and so much going on right yeah. here. And a good product. Yeah, <laughs> cool.